Welcome, guys. Um, I had a, a request or a question through my comments about a part sketcher. Um, so I actually technically don't use part sketcher myself, but we have a machine that's next to mine and it's got a part sketcher on. So I kind of researched it. I play with it. So I will share what I've learned. Um, you know, as a kind of side note, I made a previous video about uh, trying to get into gold digging. As you see, uh, that carrier hasn't taken off yet, so I'm still in the shop. And uh, what do you call it? You know, I'm so I'm still glad that, and I appreciate you. You know, the comments, uh, the kind words, and um, let's kind of get to the topic. So this is technically for those who don't know what's a part sketcher. And I'm guessing that most of you do. Let me get a light on here. Um, let me see position. Uh, okay. So this guy right here, it's a part sketcher. And this part sketcher, it can be mounted on the left side, on the right side. So we have uh, left and right. So you can cut off piece here, you can cut off here. So this is what I think is like you loosen up these bolts, but then you also have to change the box position to this one. Uh, so now, um, I made a program, okay? And the program has to be manual, okay? So technically when you go to the program, let me do this, uh, insert, uh, here, let me see, insert, let's do shape end, if I can find it, or shape copy, unit copy, erase, insert, calculate, program complete, let's not do it, manual end, okay, so we got a new line, so you go, uh, once you're in a unit, you see a manual program, this is what you're going to press. Now, um, it's going to ask you for the tool. And the tool is, for example, if I'm using a 35 tool, um, and I want my turret to stay on tool 35, I'm just going to call it that. Uh, and right at the end, when you see M and B, uh, the M48 is to bring the uh, part sketcher up. And M49 is to bring uh, the part sketcher down, right? Um, I'm going to erase this. So technically, you do it with the manual program. And that's how, that's how the programs look like. So you can have a facing and whatnot turning. Uh, then you can uh, do the manual program, general, on the tool that you're on right now. Or you can also put a next tool. Let's say if you have a cutoff tool, that's, a, let's say, 120 uh, grooving, you can put that here. Uh, the turret will index to that tool. It will open the part sketcher. Then you can insert a cutoff, right? So if we're here, you do insert, uh, manual end, and then you, for example, go turning your, you know, groove out and zero, whatever you do the, the cutoff uh, pattern, uh, the part will technically drop, and then this will bring the part back to the basket and your basket, you know, you pull out the part and your part magically appears here. Now, uh, let's kind of go back here. All right, so I'm gonna run this in an auto, okay, manual, auto. So I'm gonna press, it's gonna read uh, a, a, a part sketcher up and down. Okay, this is the part sketcher up, and this is the part sketcher down. Now, look what happens if I do it in a single block, right? So the part sketcher up, I'm going to press OK. Okay, I'm going to press Start button. It's going to come down. Now, I'm going to single block, uh, single process, I'm sorry, again, for the second one to kind of retract. I'm going to press Start, and guess what? Nothing happens. I got an error, PT catcher extend. So that means it runs okay on auto, but it doesn't retract on single 
because there is an error and I tried to use the barrier cancel for example uh, to see if that helps press start nothing happens um, if you shut this off so go back to all auto and you're gonna press start nothing right the uh, same thing reset so you can go to uh, the little wrench okay and you, you have options chip conveyor and whatnot nothing well if you're gonna put it uh, shut this off put in the handle mode okay look what happens auto it disappears handle mode disappears so the wrench parts extend and if you press this right nothing happens see because that light is flickering so this is what I'm gonna do I'm, go I'm gonna have to try to fit, do this one hand so with my left hand I'm pressing that yellow light I'm gonna press the retract and boom it went down so this is how you put manually uh, down the uh, a part sketcher retract by put it in a handle mode so anything outside of memory and this will show up and like I said when you press see I'm gonna press memory and it disappears I, I'm sorry, but this is kind of retarded to me, but that's how that works uh, So if you ever gonna get stuck and your parts creature is up and you're in the memory and you're looking forward to Bring it down and you're pressing your M48s and, 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 and M49s and nothing works. Just put in a handle mode Like I said, you know, so wrench This wrench and parts retract While pressing that yellow button. All right guys, uh, so hope this works Here's the last look of the pro program. So whatever tool you are on or next tool and then whatever and for retract, you know, if you cut enough the part, just have that cut off part here. M48 is up, M49 is down. This is how you program part sketcher. Thank you for watching and see you next video.